are back AM Live. I'm here with Dr. Rita Kerr. Good morning. The health officer for Amador County. That's right. You've been on the show before. So I nice have. To see you. I you've have. You've gotten taller. No, I think you've gotten shorter. <laughs> We're going to talk about stuff that's going on in the summer, what to avoid, how to protect yourself in the summer, good tips, right? Yes, just how to stay safe and healthy while you're having some fun in the summer sun. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. It is. Let's talk about the heat. Because let's let's it's talk about that. Getting into the triple digits now, and um, we have been posting some tips on our uh, social media sites already for people to stay safe mm -hmm. in this heat, particularly elderly. If you have elderly neighbors, check on them. Um, stay cool, use your air conditioning, fans, drink plenty of fluids. Cool, clear water is the best. Really avoid caffeine and alcohol, they'll actually dehydrate you um, because you end up putting more really? out than you take in with those. <laughs> and okay. of course, we generally say to avoid the sugary sure. drinks, so water sure. is best. Um, wearing cool, loose clothing is really important, and seeking shade, avoid being outside, especially outside working or exercising during the hottest part of the day. Right. And remember that your car is like an oven. It gets hot really quickly. Yeah. Never leave a pet or a child in a closed car in this Oh, heat. it's like an oven. Exactly. Like an oven. Exactly. So. And then um, the sun. You know, you don't want to get sunburned. So we're, you know, saying choose your cover. Um, make sure that you're using sun protection, uh, sunscreen or sunblock with an SPF, a sun protection factor of at least 15, and reapply every few hours, especially if you're exercising, swimming, or sweating. Right. Um, the UV blocker clothing, like those rash guard shirts that the kids wear at the pool, are very effective. Cool. And um, a hat with a brim, sunglasses to protect your eyes from, you know, sun damage that can cause early cataracts and that sort of thing. Sure. And uh, again, shade is your friend Big from time. the sun. It definitely gets hot up here. It's important to kind of protect yourself. Yes. For sure. Yes. And then uh, fight the bite. Now, I I'm a city boy. This stuff worries me. So let's talk about that. When you say this stuff, what are you this worried stuff, about? Snakes. Okay. Spiders. All right. You know, well, the, like the bites that. I'm talking about are the ones that you don't even really realize are happening to you, the mosquitoes and the ticks that can carry diseases. Oh, so your best West defense Nile against those, West like Nile, yeah. yes. So if you see a dead bird, there's actually a hotline or you can go online and report that. And we monitor that. We'll occasionally have to test birds for West Nile virus. Really? They're kind of our, our indicator that there's West Nile in the community. None so far this year. Good. We have had a couple dead birds, but no West Nile here yet. Good. Um, but you still want to be using your insect repellent. Um, mosquitoes are most, as are the rattlesnakes, incidentally. Oh, man. Um, drain any standing water that's on your property because that's where the mosquitoes breed. Right. And um, make sure that your doors and your windows are screened or closed and that you dress appropriately. Long sleeves, even lightweight long sleeves, can protect you from bites. And with the ticks, if you're out hiking, no flip-flops, no bare feet. Wear hiking boots. They'll also protect you against the snakes. Right. Long pants. And if you're so inclined, even tuck those pant legs into your socks to avoid the tick bites. And you should always check for ticks right. on your pets and your kids and yourself after you've been outside, especially in a grassy area. Uh, you probably see a lot of kids that get bug bites and stuff. Oh, sure. You know, they're out there playing in the dirt and mm -hmm. stuff. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's part of growing up. Oh, yeah. The, I still play in the dirt. It's okay. The best way to avoid these problems is prevention. Absolutely. Uh, ticks, is that a big thing up here? Uh, we do have ticks in the grass, gotcha. definitely. Okay. So you do have to be alert for that. So be careful. Mm -hmm. Food safety. Yes, with the 4th of July coming up, um, a lot of people are out grilling, having barbecues and picnics. Make sure you keep your cold foods cold. Keep it have cold. plenty of ice in the cooler. Don't take them out and set them on the table till you're ready to serve. Mm -hmm. And when you're grilling, Grill like a pro. Use a food thermometer. Use that thermometer to test the doneness of your meats and your things that you're grilling so that you make sure that they're adequately cooked and you're not at risk for foodborne illness from those. All makes sense. Sure. All makes sense. Sure. Got a lot of lakes up here, a lot of little yes. places to go swimming. Water safety, swimming safety. For boating, life jackets, absolutely essential. <clears throat> and water and alcohol really don't mix as far as, you know, impaired boating, um, or taking unnecessary risks while you're out swimming if you've been drinking too much. You can get a DUI on a boat. You definitely can. Not that I ever got one. I'm just saying I found this <laughs> out. You can actually get a DUI on a right. boat. So be careful. And they're out there. The sheriff's deputies are out there patrolling. As they should and, be. And they Especially should be. Especially on the holiday weekend. Absolutely. What's that? 
Don't drive the boat. Don't drive the boat. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Exactly. Um, another really important thing, if you have kids, watch them. Don't turn your eyes away from them when they're swimming. Kids can drown really quickly. Very quickly. Really silently. So you need to um, make sure that those kids are watched. If you have a pool on your property, that it's appropriately fenced, that you have those doors and gates locked to the pool area and possibly alarmed. Um, again, another thing, kind of a not nice thing to think about, but there's a lot of germs in the water. Um, don't swallow pool or lake water. Try not to get it in your mouth. And if you're sick, don't go in, please, especially sure. if you have a tummy bug like a gastrointestinal illness. Makes sense. Uh, we've got about 10 seconds. Uh, Dr. Rita Kurt, thank you so much. It's important to be safe. Do the right things this summer. Enjoy the summer. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. You're going to stick around? For a few minutes. All right, sure. sounds good.